Are you looking for a fun educational gift experience for a gamer? Have you wanted to build your own PC, but have found it too intimidating? We have the perfect solution in the Intel Core i5K Unlocked Gaming DIY Kit to build a high-performance gaming desktop. And we'll walk you through a super simple step-by-step -step process to assemble it. As part of the kit, we also include Intel Performance Maximizer, an automated overclocking tool, and Intel Easy Streaming Wizard. That's a tool that gets you online streaming in minutes. All that plus a set of free games and software. Got all that? Good. Now, let's get to the assembly. We're first going to check to make sure that we have all the required components. Starting with the processor, we have an Intel Core i5-9600KF, cooled by a Cooler Master MA410P RGB CPU Air Cooler. 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripped Jaws V-Series RAM, a 1 terabyte Intel M.2 SSD, a Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 2060 GPU, a 520 watt power supply, an MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Edge motherboard, and a Rosewill Zircon case. For tools, we'll need a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, a number one Phillips screwdriver. We're going to move all of the other components out of the way for now and focus on unboxing the case and the power supply. The first thing we're going to do is remove the four bolts that are holding on to the front tempered glass, then place the glass down on a flat surface. And then we're going to remove the two bolts holding on the case's back panel. Next, we're going to find the correct power supply cables for our system in the black bag that came with our power supply. We're going to need to plug three different cables into our power supply. The wide connector with 24 pins is going to plug into the MB ports on the power supply. We need to plug in one connector with PCIe and one connector with CPU. We're now going to install the power supply into the case. We're going to place the power supply with the fan facing downward. We're then going to use the four screws that came with the power supply to attach the power supply to the case. After we've done this, we're going to move our power supply in case so that we can get our motherboard, Intel SSD, processor, and DRAM modules ready. We're going to unbox our motherboard first. Remove the I.O. shield, two small screws used to install our SSD module, and the motherboard itself. We're going to begin by installing the processor. To open the socket, press down and then outward on the socket lever, then pull up on the lever. You need to identify the CPU keying. There's a yellow triangle on the corner of the processor. Gently place the processor in the middle of the socket according to the keying, and then lightly press down on the processor and wiggle your finger to ensure the processor is fully in the socket. Then move the socket mechanism down Move the lever all the way back down and then inward to lock it in place. Next, we're going to install our DRAM modules. We need to open the locking mechanisms for the second and the fourth slot from the CPU. We orient the DRAM module so that the stickers are facing the processor. As we press the module into the slot, you will hear a firm click from the top and the bottom of the socket when it's fully inserted. Repeat this process for the second module. Now we can install our Intel PCIe SSD module. Now insert the module into the slot labeled M.2. Next we'll use one of the screws that came with the motherboard to install the module with a number one Phillips screwdriver. Next we'll install our CPU cooler. This cooler's fan connector needs to be attached on the back of the motherboard so that four screw slots are popping up through the front. Then you'll need to follow the instructions included with the cooler to apply thermal paste to the CPU. Line the cooler up with the screw holes and then screw it in tightly. Now we're going to start installing the motherboard into the case. 
We'll first install the motherboard I.O. panel. Orient the I.O. panel so that you can read the labels. Press the I.O. panel from the inside of the case outward. Then we can gently lay the motherboard down with the I.O. near the I.O. shield like this. And then press the motherboard so that it's pressing against the I.O. shield. Take the finely threaded screws and screw them into the locations as shown. After the motherboard is installed, lift the case so that you can access the back. We can then grab the PCIe power connector and run it to the front of the case. The HD audio connector and the front panel button connector can route through here. The USB 3.0 connector can route through here. We can now plug in the USB 3 cable to the USB 3 port. The HD audio connector plugs into the port labeled JAUD1 in the bottom left corner of the motherboard. Now we're going to plug in the front panel cables into the front panel port in the bottom right corner of the motherboard. Now we're going to connect the motherboard with the power supply. First run the large 24 pin power connector through the front side of the case. Then take the connector labeled CPU and run it to the top of the case and then to the front. Take the large 24 pin and install it into the motherboard with the latch on the right. You should hear or feel a click when it's fully inserted. Take the CPU power connector and install it into the motherboard in the top left corner. You should hear or feel a click here as well. We're now going to plug in the case fan. There is a cable with three pins that will plug into the top three pins on the port labeled SYS underscore fan one. We can now install the GPU. We need to remove the PCIe slot cover so that we can install our graphics card. To remove the second and third slot covers, you need to press the cover inward and outward until it breaks off. Line the GPU up with the topmost slot on the motherboard, ensure the gold contacts are aligned with the slot, and then press it into the slot until you hear or feel a click. Now install the screws back into the PCIe slots to attach the GPU to the case. Now plug in the PCIe power cable into the GPU as shown. Then press and slide the back panel into place and screw it in. We can then install the front tempered glass with the four screws that we took out of it. And finally, we install the Wi-Fi antennas into the back side of the PC. Congratulations! With that, your physical build is complete. This DIY kit also includes a copy of Microsoft Windows, along with free games and software. Check your email from Newegg for your game downloads, and visit the link on the screen and in the description below this video for help installing Windows, and to download Intel's Performance Optimizer and the Intel Easy Streaming Wizard.